Hi everyone, welcome back to the um, my Stargazer horoscopes, my Who's Hot This Week horoscopes that I write for the Echo newspapers and good old Supernatural British Columbia for the week of October 3rd to October 9th, 2016. All presented by the SunnySide.net. Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. Alright, of course, if you want to skip the messages, just hit the link in the description box below should take take you to your sign <laughs> anyways here's the overview for the week for the week of October 3rd to 9th 2016 this week the moon's gonna be in optimistic Did you guys figure that one out yet <laughs> optimistic often happy they're always good there to cheer you up uh, they can be social the direct straight shooting to the point the very big picture kinda it's a big picture kinda sign and it's did I say optimistic yet <laughs> optimistic jovial and that's Sagittarius this means for all of us and the signs have kind of shifted in the last the signs the planets have kind of shifted a little in the last week so energy should be shifting for everyone old blocks all that blah 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 from 2016 should now really be put in the past and although there is a little bit of clearing out still left to do. You know, there's always a little residual blah, blah, blah. But uh, it should, you know, you should be working hard towards the goals that you've wanted. And you sh should now have time and space to do them. The only downside is everyday life is now taking its toll. Every, you know, your chores and regular stuff, it's uh, not like your to-do list is going to shrink up anytime soon. And with the moon in Sagittarius, that's going to create more. <laughs> so you're going to prob everyone's probably going to be a little busier and they're going to want to be happy and they're going to want to you're going to want to play and get out and have fun, you know, do whatever is going on in your chart. But uh you got the day-to-day -day of life to take care of next week. So on one hand, you know, the opportunity is definitely there to go after the goals that you really want and you should definitely push them right now. Every single person in every single sign should be pushing their goals 100 percent. But at the same time, we're all extremely busy and we have to, uh, you know, deal with our day-to-day -day lives and experiences and <laughs> deal with our experiences. Yeah, good job, Sunny. <laughs> but that's what's happening. And that's it. Next week is not really a it's not really a business as usual kind of week. It's like lots of business. You know, your life is getting really busy right now. But you have everyone has a tremendous opportunity to really go after those goals then uh, that they wanted for the entire year of 2016. Everyone is a lot closer than they seem and you just have to put the pedal to the metal and get on with the getting on and reach out and um, you know, step out from behind those stumbling blocks so that your destiny and give your destiny an honest and open and you know a real chance to find you because it's there and it's waiting for everyone you just have now is the time to put the feet you know get the feet moving make those phone calls now is the time to be confident in love in money in health in everything you do you know dig deep if you need help with confidence He's got the meditations there, right, on the channel. You can listen to one of the hypnosis meditations, and they work. So all I'm saying is this week, dig deep, put one foot in front of the other, and don't stop until you reach that goal. You can do it. All right, so that's the overview. No big deal. Moon and Sagittarius. Everyone should be happy. There should be a lot of knock-knock jokes going around. <laughs> you should have a lot of fun, but it's busy, and it's busy, and it's not necessarily new beginnings, but your goals are well within your grasp. So reach for the stars and uh, don't settle for anything other than what your heart truly wants. You know, reach for your destiny, not, you know, something else. <laughs> and that's it. All right, that's it. All right, next, let's get to some fan mail. There's some good questions. Uh, Rumeri, Rumeri <laughs> writes in, on the who to, who's the best kisser zodiac signs video you guys know I've been putting out a couple of these videos they're still a little long you know I've been trying to edit them down but blah 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 and I'm cutting the writing and I don't know I'm trying to they're just long <laughs> okay anyways uh, Romeri writes in 
How about an Aries as the best kisser in the Zodiac? Come on, does Aries have anybody? <laughs> Feel free to leave your comments. Does anybody think Aries is the best kisser of the Zodiac? You know, they're, it's Mars. It's Aries is ruled by Mars. They're aggressive, they're competitive. Sure, if you like kissing a, a hockey glove <laughs> or like a boxing mitt, Aries is pretty, uh, is good if you're into that kind of stuff. But yeah, can Aries be romantic? Sure, you know, they like to be the best. They're competitive and if they see something romantic, they're gonna try and out romance uh, the action next to them. But uh, by nature, I don't think Aries is the best kisser, but I totally appreciate your comments. And what's up? Thanks for writing it. Next, what else? Tierra writes in on uh, the most badass uh, sign of the zodiac. Can Virgo or Libra be bad? Well, we all know that, <laughs> we all know from listening to me that uh, I believe Libra can be very bad. They are definitely say one thing, do something else kind of a sign. Not that they're lying or anything, but they're just kind of like, you know, life takes them where they take them. You know, they have goals, they're going to that goal, and sometimes they're just being affable <laughs> along the way. So, so watch out. So, in other words, yeah, almost all signs, oh no, where did I put it? Almost all of the signs can be bad. So definitely be careful. And just because they didn't make the list in the video doesn't mean that they don't belong. So for Virgo, I know an extremely bad Virgo, you know? Actually, I know a couple of really bad Virgos. So whether they made the list or not, I'd watch my step. So, with that, who, with that, who wrote that in? Oh, to, so, to Tierra. Thank you very much for your question. And, what's up? I totally appreciate it. And lastly, to one of my students, Idan. He's having his birthday this weekend, and I think it's wonderful. They're going away. They're going to have some fun. And I wish you the absolute best, buddy. You really put a smile on my face. He's an amazing young sax player, and he's really coming along well. And, uh, and I think you're awesome. I hope you have an absolutely happy birthday. Thanks. You know, <laughs> good luck, buddy. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And sub. All right, enough of that stuff. Let's get down to the horoscopes. The reason we're all here today. Do, 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 do. All right. Dear Aries, work troubles become public and leaves you scrambling to clean up a mess. Career goals require extra effort but you should still use the weekly energy to reach for more. Lovers begin to line up. All right, so Aries, I don't know if you lost your job recently or what's going on, but you're gonna be in overdrive looking for new, uh, for some career kind of stuff. Maybe there's something wrong at work, maybe something good happened at work and it leaves you having to put in extra hours. You know, it's gonna be a busy week for everyone anyways, and maybe that's just what's happening to you. But be careful. I know you like to, to poke and prod people, but be careful this week and then the next month because very publicly and at work, Aries, you're going to be cause there's going to be some kind of conflict there. Next, the Taurus. Taurus, day-to-day -day stress is taking its toll. I know this. And you are ready for a vacation. But be careful because with all of the rushing around, you could miss the signals that love is trying to send your way. New beginnings in work lead to success. So Taurus, this is the time for love for you. So keep your eyes open, but again, day-to-day -day life is taking its toll. You know, you're busy, you might be too busy for love, but don't be too busy for love. Like, what's wrong with you, Taurus? <laughs> like, you know, whatever comes first is gonna come first, but make time for whatever your goals are because you're very close to reaching them. Next, dear Gemini, love continues on the lockdown, Gemini, <laughs> and I don't see it any time changing anytime soon. So, so Gemini, I don't see you being lucky in love anytime soon. Like I do soon, but not like not this week. <laughs> and anyways, allow joint financial. Although you might meet someone significantly older than you, that might happen, or you might meet someone significantly younger than you. And if that happens, definitely go for it. You know, just a heads up and what to watch out for. Anyways, allow joint financial projects, 
borrowing money and business activities to take the center stage. Lose yourself in a job well done. You're busy, Gemini, and uh, you might not have time for love anyways, but when it strikes, you better be prepared. Dear Cancer, tired of sitting at home alone, Cancer? <laughs> it's time to get serious about your love life. There is someone on your radar who, for whatever reason, didn't make the cut. But times have changed and so have you. Say hello to a new world. Cancer, your dreams are so close to coming true. You just got to step out and make it happen. Don't settle. Don't wait for it to come to you. Go get it. Dear Leo, suddenly, Leo, you have more places to go and people to see than your schedule can handle. It feels good to be popular. But we all know it's just business as usual. All right, so Leo, you're popular. You're going to be running around a lot. And more than anything else, be careful while driving. Expect, watch your health, and expect accidents running around. And you're going to be rushing around, so be careful. Dear Virgo, home is a bit of a mess, and that creative project is trying to stall. But personal energy should be focused on attracting money anyways. Virgo, you are super lucky for the next entire year in money. So whatever is happening, just let it go and focus. You have a, you know, a once in a 12 year opportunity to attract a lot of money and it's happening right now. So definitely go for it. Anyways, allow your team to do the small stuff and concentrate on networking. Virgo, it's time to be the boss. Dear Libra, our most beautiful sign. <laughs> Popularity brings accolades, of, you know, and opportunities for social fun. Along the way, you should also encounter surprise opportunities to pad your pocketbook. And don't overindulge at the dessert table. Libra, you're so pretty, but like, you're in a very serious situation here where over the next couple of months, you could easily gain a lot of weight <laughs> so be careful watch your figure make sure you keep going to the gym keep running do what you do normally to look good for, and uh, watch the sweets there's Scorpio Scorpio love stops in to say hello oh it's about time I know you said but will you notice mm. personal goals are closer than ever so reach out with speed and raise your arms with pride as you cross that finish line. Don't give up now, Scorpio. Keep going. Find time to do what you got to do. Get it done. You're right there. Cross that finish line. Dear Sagittarius, the bounce returns to your step and your personal cheer becomes contagious. Yay! <laughs> Spread the love and see both your personal and professional networks continue to grow. Rewards accompany a job well done. Dear Capricorn, Capricorn, your career continues to shine, but it's your social network that's really in for a shake. Recent accomplishments are being noticed, and friends, both old and new, are beginning to line up for your attention. Love encourages a friendly approach. So Capricorn, you're socially, you're in the social spotlight right now. It's networking, it's rewards for a job well done, for work you've already done. You might receive a public award of some kind. That's pretty cool. Or you just might have more people trying to contact you to invite you out. That's all great. But remember, do, 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 do. don't be so grouchy and don't be so worried if everyone else isn't focused on your goals. Your goals are coming along fine. Just like every other side, you're getting busy, but reach out and get what you want. Dear Aquarius, Aquarius, you'd love to get away, but the office is calling. Extra efforts to push your career this week will lead to financial rewards. Team up for your best success. Aquarius, team up, team up, team up, team up. Stop running away. Stay in there. Focus and get it done. You couldn't do it. I know it's been a rough run, a very rough run for 2016 for you guys. And, uh, Unlike, like it's not all gone. <laughs> a lot of it is gone for a lot of the signs, but for you guys, it's not all gone. And you might be in, you know, you might have a little sabotage that's happening behind the scenes. So you got to watch for that too. But by and large, you're close to your goals as well. So reach out and grab them. 
And that brings us to Dearest Pisces. A group outing leads to struggles. Okay, Pisces, something is off in your friend network. One of your friends has been upset lately and they want to take it out on you. Respect your boundaries and your goals. You've worked really hard to be derailed from grumpy fans. So just let sleeping dogs lie and if they come barking at you, just let them bark and keep focused on your goals. Again, Pisces, you work far too hard and you're really, really, really close to all of your dreams. So just push a little harder and don't get distracted. And that brings us to do 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 do. <laughs> this week's lucky love signs are Sagittarius and Gemini, with Taurus and Scorpio heating up fast. As for everyone else, be a super amazing, fantastic wing, and pick up the check, yo, from the sunny side. Dot that I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful week, and I'll see you soon.